In this video, we're going to be taking a look at two cars that are approaching each other while they are both accelerating. The first one starts at rest with an acceleration of 3 meters per second squared, and the second starts at a velocity of 2 meters per second with an acceleration of 4 meters per second squared. Their separation distance is 50 meters. We're going to find out the time that it takes them to meet and then also what their final position is. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you draw out a nice diagram so you can see which one is going which way. And we're going to call this car going in the positive direction and this one going in the negative direction. And that's going to be a pretty subtle change in your numbers, which is going to make a big change in how you find the correct solution. So I'm going to make sure I put a negative next to this velocity to indicate that it's going to the left and a negative with the acceleration to show this one is speeding up in the negative direction. Okay, now we're gonna use the same formula for both of our different cars. The formula is gonna be final position minus the initial position equals the initial velocity times time plus one half acceleration times squared. Now, what we're looking for is this final position right over here. So if we set um, the entire equation equal to the final position, for one of the cars, we can set both of those equations equal to one another because both of the cars are gonna have the same final position when they meet. So we can go ahead and add this initial velocity to both sides and then now we're all set for our final position equation. So for this car over here, um, we'll call it at position zero meters and then we'll call this one at position 50 meters because we know that they have a delta X of 50. So let's go ahead and concentrate on this first car over here. So its initial velocity is zero, it starts at rest, so it's gonna be zero times T plus one half A T squared. And then that's going to equal the expression or the equation that we set up for the other side for this car over here. Now for this one, it's going to be um, an initial position of 50. So I'm going to add the XI here plus VIT. VI is negative two. We don't know T plus one half negative four T squared. So what we can do is um, we can condense some of our numbers, multiply some of them out, rearrange them, and then let's go ahead and solve for our time plug that into one of our equations to find our final position. All right, so what I did is I rearranged my equation over here so that it's equal to zero. So I took the one half times the three, which gave me one half T squared. I subtracted that from both sides. So when I did negative um, 1.5 T squared, or excuse me, minus 1.5 T squared on this side, then I subtracted that from the negative two T squared I got over here, which gave me a coefficient of negative 3.5 T squared minus the 2t that was already there, and then plus the 50 that was already there. So you can find the time using the quadratic formula or by graphing in your calculator and finding the two points where it intersects the x-axis. You're gonna get the values 3.50 and negative 4.08. And because we do not have negative times, it's an easy choice. We're gonna go with the positive 3.50 seconds. Now I can take that 3.50 seconds and plug it in into my red formula over here or my blue formula. It doesn't matter because they are equivalent to one another. I chose the red one over here because there's less variables and less numbers. So I have one half three T squared. And then I plugged in the T that I just found, 3.50, put that all in. I got 18.38 meters for my final position. Okay, and then that also lines up with what I predicted in my head because 
This one has a starting velocity and a greater acceleration. So the midpoint for the 50 meters would be 25. So you would expect that this car that's traveling in the negative direction would go past that midpoint because of its initial velocity and acceleration. Um, it would be a number that would be slightly under 25, which it is. So I hope that was helpful in helping you solve for the time and the final position for two cars approaching each other and accelerating. Thank you for watching and listening.